हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैक एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट एट फॉर द रैपिड रिवीजन सीरीज इन विच वी विल डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड प्रीवियसली आस्ट क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंटल जियोलॉजी चैप्टर सो दिस इज रैपिड रिवीजन बिकॉज यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो इन द डेप्थ ऑफ द टॉपिक वी विल सॉल्व मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन इन द मिनिमम टाइम सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट so before discussing the questions i would suggest you that we have already made seven mega revision part in this series you can check out the link given in the i button as well as in the description below if you're preparing for any of the environmental science entrances this video is surely important and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now make sure you have subscribed it and hit the notification to get all further updates so guys be ready with the pen and paper and mark how many questions you are able to guess correctly So the first question is, which one of the following is not a set of polymorphous minerals? And the options are on your screen. I'll wait for certain seconds, then I will reveal the answer. So this question is one of the frequently asked question in the net environmental science paper, and the correct option will be option number three. Yes, graphite, anthracite, and diamond are not a set of polymorphous minerals. we should know what are polymorphous minerals so basically poly means different or many morphs come from the word morphology so several morphology that means several structure or crystal structure to be specific and similar chemical composition are the definition of polymorphous mineral so here graphite anthracite and diamond are not the set of polymorphous mineral but these all three are the set of polymorphous mineral you should remember calcite aragonite vaterite quartz quartzite tridymite kyanite alluvite and sillimanite so these are the set of polymorphous mineral coming to the second question the second question is the most common ferromagnesian rock forming minerals are as follows so the set of two minerals are given and you have to say which is the most common ferromagnesian rock forming mineral and here the correct option will be option number 1 yes amphibole and biotite mica are the example of most common ferromagnesian rock ferromagnesian word ko hum agar divide karenge ferro comes from the word ferrous that means iron and magnesian comes from the word magnesium so ferromagnesian are the rock forming minerals which are containing iron and magnesium as major components so these are amphibole and biotite mica coming to the next question the next question is water trapped at the time of formation of the sedimentary rocks is called as what kind of water so this is also one of the frequent asked question and here the correct option will be option number 2 yes conic water is the water which is entrapped at the time of formation of sedimentary rocks so i hope you are noting down all these things because very important next question is which of the following pairs of the igneous rocks have the same mineral composition and the options are granite and basalt basalt and gabbro andesite and rhyolite and pumic and basalt so i hope you will be guessing this options correctly and here the correct option will be option number 3 yes basalt and gabbro are the pair of igneous rocks having the same mineral composition so option 3 will be correct and you should know what is the composition the composition of basalt and gabbro is mostly olivine and pyroxene with small amounts of feldspar and mica so you should note down olivine and pyroxene with smaller amounts of feldspar and mica let's move to the next slide for more questions the next question is in india lignite is mined in which of the following places so this question came in 2017 paper of ugc net environmental science and the options were neveli jhariwa singrauli or singrani so here the correct option will be option number 1 neveli which is situated in tamil nadu is famous for the lignite mining in india chalte hain hamare agle question ki taraf the next question is the magma starts to crystallize when it loses heat during its upward rise to shallower level from a deep source 
Which among the following is the Bowen's reaction series? So this question is very very important. You should know the Bowen's reaction series and this question is one of the must and mostly asked question in the net environment science paper. So I'll wait for certain seconds then I will reveal the answer. And here the correct option will be option number 2. Yes, the correct Bowen series will be olivine, pyroxene, hornblende, mica and quartz. So I would suggest you to remember the Bowen's reaction series. I have already made a video. You can check this. Next question is which magma type contains the greatest amount of silica? And the options are basaltic magma type or andesitic, rhyolitic or peridotic. And here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, rhyolitic type of magma contains greatest or highest amount of silica content. Next question is match the following so this rocks and mineral kind of question is often asked in the form of match the following also so here in list one it is given stratigraphic unit that means the lithostratigraphic that is stratification layer wise of lithosphere the unit is given in the list one and you have to match with the list two deposit types so here i will tell you one by one which group will match with which of the following starting with the Biladilla group. So the Biladilla group is known for the banded iron formation. Nalamalai group is known for the lead and zinc deposits. Udaipur group is known for the phosphoride group or phosphoride deposits. Similarly, the Sansar group is known for the manganese. So these are the stratigraphic unit along with the correct option of the deposits so code 1 will be the correct option so write down all these things very important let's move to the next slide next slide again a question from the most scale which is also frequently asked question as i have said so this time the question is in the decreasing order of hardness on most scale choose the correct sequence from the following so here you have to select decreasing order and here the correct option will be option number one yes quartz is the hardest among the four followed by feldspar calcite and talc that is talcum you can say is the softest among these four so you have to learn this more scale also very important frequently asked next question is polymorphs have what so as we have discussed this question already polymorphic rocks or polymorphs and the correct option will be these are the rocks or mineral having the same chemical composition but different crystal structure polymorphology next again uh, match the following in which list one is having rocks and minerals and list the chemical composition Hame correct chemical composition of rocks and minerals ko match karna hai so i'll wait for certain seconds So quartz is having the main chemical composition as silicon oxide or silicon dioxide. Magnetite is having the chemical composition of Fe3O4 and fluorite is having the chemical composition of CaF2 that is calcium and fluoride and calcite is having the formula of CaCO3 that is the calcium carbonate. And calcite is having the chemical composition of CaCO3. So I hope you are clear. Quartz will match with the silicon oxide. And magnetite will match with the Fe3O4. And fluorite will match with the CF2. And calcite will match with the CaCO3. Let's move to the next slide for some more questions. The next question is traps for petroleum and natural gas formed by the deformation such as folding and fracturing of rocks are known as what so this is the type of extracting the petroleum and natural gas and the correct option you have to identify so here the correct option will be these kinds of foldings and fracturing of rocks for the traps of petroleum and natural gas is called as structural traps so very simple structure is deformed so it's structural traps Next question is which of the common mineral is not a silicate so guess and very very you should be attentive because it is written not a silicate every time you should not get confused and here the mineral which is not a silicate will be calcite mineral but other than that 
quartz, pyroxene and feldspar all are having the silicate group of minerals. Coming to the next question, the next question is which of the following minerals causes fluoride pollution in the groundwater? So if you use your common sense also you will be able to answer this question. And here the correct option will be option number one. Yes, fluoride and apatite are the minerals which causes fluoride pollution in the groundwater. So very easy. The word fluoride comes from the word fluoride. You can correlate. Coming to the next question. The next question is the important continental silicate mineral weathering process of lowering the carbon dioxide level is known as what? So it is asking about the chemical process which is used to lower the carbon dioxide level and here correct option will be hydrolysis process is the process in which the continental silicate mineral weathering helps to or it lowers the carbon dioxide level. Let's move to the next slide. So here some more match the following coming up. So here it is asking about the mineral deposit and the top producer of these countries. So it was given in 2014. Let's move to the next question. The next question is clay minerals are what kind of? So it is asking what kind of silicates are clay minerals? And here the correct option will be option number 4. Clay minerals are phyllosilicates in nature. Coming to our next question. The next question is in a whole rock chemical analysis the dividing criterion between major and trace element on weight percent basis is how much percentage so this is conceptual question I will tell you regarding this and here the correct option will be 0.1 percentage is the dividing criterion between major and trace element on the weight percent basis for a whole rock chemical analysis so we should know what is the dividing criteria for whole rock chemical analysis and the major element are those elements in the rocks those with the concentration greater than one percentage so they are major element what are minor element they are those element those having the concentration in between 0 0.1 to 1 percentage and coming to the trace elements these are the elements with the concentration less than 0 0.1 percentage or 1000 ppm so this is also important kindly note it down let's move to the next slide the next question is the mineral most resistant to chemical weathering is what? And here the correct option will be option number 2. Quartz are the silicate minerals which are most resistant to the chemical weathering as compared to olivin, feldspar and biotite. Let's move to the next question. The next question is acid drainage is more in the case of which of the following mining and the options are granite, bauxite, limestone or base metal sulphide. So the correct option will be option number 3. In the mining of limestone the acid drainage is seen in more quantity. Coming to the next question which is the we have to find the decreasing order according to the Goldie classification order of stability of following minerals of igneous rocks towards weathering. So I'll wait for certain seconds to think for the answer. And here the questions correct option will be option number 3. Yes, quartz is having the maximum resistance towards the weathering followed by muscovite, potash, feldspar and biotite. So this question came in December 2012 net examination. Coming to the next question, the next question is maximum CaO that is calcium oxide is found in which kind of mineral and here the correct option will be option number three in the limestone maximum CaO is found so do remember limestone may calcium zada hota hai isliye maximum calcium oxide in limestone coming to the next series of questions here we have to find in the next question the sequence of chemical constituents in order of their abundance in a majority of the sedimentary rock that means in the sedimentary rocks which of the chemical constituent are higher to lower and here among the four options 
the correct option will be option number two yes silicon dioxide is maximum in case of sedimentary rocks followed by aluminium oxide then iron oxide then titanium oxide so option two will be the correct option next question is which one of the following is the most predominant element in a majority of igneous kind of rock so here the element which is most predominant in the majority of igneous gas or igneous rocks will be option number three oxygen is the element followed by silicon that is in the second number let's move to the next question next question is conceptual the basic of the rock formation the question is rocks that were originally either sedimentary igneous or metamorphic and have been changed further by heat and pressure are called as what so these rocks will be called as metamorphic rocks you know the metamorphosis process similarly these are the rocks which have changed due to pressure and heat from sedimentary igneous or metamorphic rocks but at the end i would like to remind you that the mock test series is very very important and already 250 mock links have been delivered to the students which is very important for the upcoming net examination so just for 49 rupees you are getting five mock tests related to ugc net paper 2 of environmental science and the steps are very easy you have to pay the 49 rupees on this number 89172522297 through paytm google pay or phone pay the number i will provide in the description also and then you have to send the screenshot on zakiahmed9 at the red gmail.com or jacklit my personal account and then you will be getting the links and you can appear the examination anytime and make your preparation more stronger by a solid revision so see you guys in our next video till then take care and believe in yourself